there is actually something that I have forgotten to show you guys. And that is the founder of my office. Boost the attitude. So they should have hopefully a banana. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I really hope all of you are having an amazing day. So, today we're going to feed some snakes, but yeah, you know how this goes. We're probably going to do a couple of other things as well. So, stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Yeah, here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. I think she smells the food. Yeah, you're gonna get a rat. And I know that he just ate, but honestly, I'm going to try to give Gunnar a mouse again, if he wants it. So, let's see if this dude wants a mouse. See? Always eats. Now let's see if the female wants one. Let's see if she wants some food. I don't know what I'm doing right now because I'm looking for the camera. But let's see if she'll take this. Maybe I can get a good shot of this. If she's even in this hide. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's not even in that hide. Have to find her first. Found her. Let's see if she'll take this. Yeah, good girl. She is eating so fast. There's a big difference between colubrids and uh, pythons and boas. Colubrids eat really fast. Usually they eat really fast, I mean. But actually both my corn snakes eat really fast. Let's see if this girl wants some food. eats so I can't get a good shot of her now but she's got it let's see if this girl wants right I'll take it oh she's got it See if this girl wants a mouse. Oh, what happened? Just got it. Let's 
see if Sunset takes one too. It took it, I missed it. But I got it. So let's see if Gunner wants to eat. The nose here. Of course, the attitude. You want the mouse? Come on, man. Maybe I start to eat. I think we need to come back to him. So, let's see if Harley wants one. Okay, she's gonna do like this again. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing, girl? Let's take the rat, for God's sake. Okay, now she's got it. And what she did there. Yeah. I guess she was hungry. I think we have someone who's hungry. She's got it. See? How about we see if Sasu wants fun? Hope you'll take it. Sorry guys, I totally missed when he ate, so, but he ate the mouse, so, that's good. Now we see if Floki wants to eat a rat. Oh, what is, yeah, he's got it. Everyone's eating today, including the males, that's really good. Really, really good. So now that both Floki and Sasu ate, we're gonna see if Ragnar wants to eat as well. Because male ball pythons during breeding season, yeah, they almost always stop to eat. So we'll see if Ragnar wants to eat as well. Let's see if Tage wants some pinky mice. Yeah, he's got it. I think he likes it. And of course they are dusted with calcium powder. And now you may be wondering why they're dusting a hose that contains calcium. Well, because Pinkies does not contain much calcium. You see, there's not a lot of bone in them. Give him another. Get a better shot. I got one more for you, man. You have enough space for a third one.
You see how smart he is? Yes. No, he doesn't want to nothing to do with me, but as soon as he's eaten, I can put my hand in. That means he knows that my hand doesn't mean food. That's really good. But I think it's time for him to go to bed, so say goodnight to Tag, everyone. He's in one of his caves. Good night, Tage. Well, I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like uh, where the geckos are, but this is what it looks like now. I love this. Looks so much better. This shelf is freaking awesome. I love it. So the morning geckos are down here now. The morning geckos and in that enclosure are two baby crested geckos. And here is baby crested geckos in this and in this as well. I really love this. Looks so amazing. If Ragnar wants to eat, if I can get a good shot. Yeah. Maybe not. Well, he doesn't always strike, so maybe a little drop feed with him. So we put the food there, and hopefully he'll eat. I can't get a better shot, I'm sorry. There is actually something that I have forgotten to show you guys. And that is these eggs. And these are crazy gecko eggs. Maybe nothing excited for some of you, but me honestly, as I said before, I think that crazy geckos are so underrated. But yeah, more babies. Hopefully any day now, because today it's 79 days since they were laid. So they should hatch hopefully any day now. So fingers crossed that there will be babies soon. Why not show you guys what kind of calcium and vitamins I use? And for calcium, as you can see, it's all sumed. But I want to tell you the difference between without D3 and with D3. To simplify it, you get the vitamin D3, you get that from the sun. So if you have an animal like say a bearded dragon or an acumonder in my case, and you have you, you, you should have UVB for them, you, you should use that. But if you use it, which you should do, you don't need to dust their food with this because they will get the D3 from the UVB. So you should mainly use the calcium without D3 for animals that have UVB, but you can sometimes, just to be sure that they get enough D3, you can dust the food with this one sometimes. But let's say if you have a crested gecko, for example, that you don't need UVB for, you can use it. Of course you can, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you don't have UVB for, UVB for them and you give them insects, which you also should do sometimes, you should dust the food with this one. And as all of us living things need, you should always have vitamins home as well. So this is what I use. And uh, yeah, one thing, I think I said it when I was feeding Tage before, earlier. But if you have a snake that eats pinkies, rat pinkies or mice pinkies, whatever, you should dust the pinkies with calcium with D3. Why you might ask? Well, because pinkies does not contain much calcium. And reptiles, you know, they always need calcium. Every time they eat, they should get calcium in their diet. Because, you know, pinkies doesn't have hard bones. So that's why I think you should always dust your pinkies with calcium. So, yeah. So, uh, 
please tell me guys if you use any, any vitamins or calcium in the comments down below. Would be really fun to know how you do it as well. But this is what I use. So, and it works for my animals, obviously. So, yeah. So guys, that's it for today. And before we end this, I want to say welcome to all you new subscribers. And I also want to say thank you for all of you that's watching. It means a lot to me. And also, please, I'm going to say it anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like and comment on the videos. It would help me out a lot. And also, don't forget to check out my brother's channel. I will put the link to his channel down below in the description. And yeah, I'll leave you with this guys. As usual, be kind to someone, take care. And at least always try to show other people respect. So, till next time, goodbye guys.